And that wraps up another successful day of relationship coaching and Mr. J as a betrayal trauma practitioner. Uh, I am going to take a nice bubble bath. Um, let me get my my uh, house coat. And uh, this is my closet now that I'm in here. Uh, these are my uh, college days up here. These are my military days up here. And these up here are my theater, movie, and television days. Um, spent many years uh, in the entertainment field. Anyways, today a lot of my couples chose for whatever reason, maybe it's around the holidays, to um, be right over being happy. And that's fine, that's your choice, but you're only jeopardizing your own healing. See, there's a big difference between reacting and responding. Reacting is not necessarily listening to the content of what somebody is saying, just waiting until they're done so you can get what get in what you have to say. And that's kind of selfish. Responding is listening to the content of what somebody is saying, sitting on it for a second, and then responding with love and patience and all those things that you should be having in your relationship. This is especially, especially difficult but imperative in a relationship where there's broken trust because the person that broke trust they're gonna be very defensive at times. So they have to make sure they're responding, not reacting. The person who was betrayed is gonna be filled with emotions and rage and hostility and resentment and anger. And so half the time you don't even care what somebody is saying. You're gonna react and let them know I'm hurt and so I'm gonna hurt you. But again, it's not helping your healing, it's hindering it. So keep in mind, reacting and responding is two different things. The big difference is when you respond to someone, you're giving up your power to be right. And let's face it, if you're in a relationship and you want to reconnect, you want to reconcile and you want to rebuild, you have to learn to attack issues together instead of attacking one another over issues. <laughs>